Here we go. Hold on. We want to make it quad. Octobox. Uh, what's up, everybody? This is episode 233 of the Nation of Conversation. I'm here with the no longer staying at home boys, Bill, Wally, and Mike. I'm your host, Ryan. What's I'm up? still staying at home. I don't know what you guys are doing. Those two are, are, aren't staying. Back in the They're back in the offices. I even had a family party yesterday. <laughs> Look at you. I never, I never stopped going to work. Yeah, how well, I never pe- stopped. How many people were at that party, Bill? Were they properly uh, distanced? I would assume uh, probably about 20 people. 20 people? Oh, man. And were you inside the house? In and out. Mm. Hot well, spot uh, coming. Hot let, spot. We, it was New York. Let's talk about the most important topic. Have you, Mike, closed the gap on horse with your fiance? Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is the yes, most I important. Yes, it's the I thing have. I've been waiting for all week to see if you have um, closed the gap. I mean, that is my most important note for follow up as yeah. well. So. Yeah. I am now at. We need to lead off with this. We need to have a little fun. Shit, what am I at? It's We're down five to two, I believe. Now it's. Either three to five or four to five. Oh, well, you, you have closed the gap, making a comeback. But she did destroy me yesterday in tennis. <laughs> tennis? <laughs> Fucking, te- I'm not good at tennis. I'm I don't terrible. know my own. You don't seem strength. like a nimble man. I don't. It's not that. I can get to the. I can get to the ball. It's just like, like you tap it. It's just like whoosh. I'm either into the <laughs> net too much or strength. Out, like over the fence. You but don't even she, know your own strength. She played tennis in high school and stuff. Played oh, well, team. forget about yeah. it then. That's, that's a bit unfair. I'll yeah. you know. You're going to get rocked. Too, like he did, right? but like, <laughs> yeah. Could you but even I, return a serve? Like, I feel like yo, I couldn't even I return can, a serve. I can most definitely get back and forth. Back, at, yeah, we Get a little volley, volley going. Get volley going. But then, yeah. like, just trying to, like, place it. Like, you're like, okay, she's on this side of the court. I want to get on that, you know, force it to run the other side. And then... It's a lot of a lot of like a little trying to dink it over the, the net. You know? You're a dinker and a dumper. No, you you're supposed to blast on the side as you can. Every time. that's the thing. Like if I, I have no clue how to properly like 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 fire back <laughs> you know, and like have it like land it, not like fly. Yeah, you get that spin. Your yeah, fiance like, is a superior like, athlete to you. Yes, yeah, she pretty we've, much we've is. made that clear over the last two weeks. And and so this is a big announcement here. Oh, she, uh, but we are expecting a child. What? Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Hello. Yeah. That's yeah. a that is a very big announcement. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, big announcement. Yes, thank like you. Like that should have been said before we started. Saying this is a show exclusive. Air. Wow. <laughs> exclusive. Exclusive. Yes. So this woman wow. is going in her second trimester and beating me in a horse and <laughs> what? <laughs> and beating me in tennis. Oh, it's just My so much worse. Lord. <laughs> when is this child due? Uh December. Oh. December. Christmas baby. Yep, we were like, you know what? Let's add to the boom for after everything's after the Corona boom. Yeah, it'll be over. We'll yeah, have a new oh, president. Yeah. We'll have a new president, and Don't we'll have no that. Corona. Don't say that. Mike God, Pence, I wish. You think? Yes, Mike Pence. Yes, Mike Pence will be the new president. <laughs> Donald oh. Trump Jr. Oh, don't joke. Yeah, oh boy. Uh, that is very exciting news. Wow. Yes. Yes. Very, very exciting. exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to uh, welcome to a new world. Oh yes, <laughs> a new world will be opening up for you. Oh yes. Uh, yeah, you will not sleep for uh, seven to nine months. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing how good you get at it, though. Yeah. You know, you know this is perfect because yesterday was Father's Day, so let's have some dad talk right now. Mm, let's have some dad talk. talk. You get really good at not sleeping. It's weird. <laughs> You're like, oh. I only got up twice last night at two o'clock in the morning and five o'clock in the morning. That was not bad. That is never a thing that you would say any other time. I feel like Mike, your now older one is old enough to basically raise this kid, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, I, my stepchild is now five, and yes, there you go. She could, She'll take care of everything. Yeah, yep. she could just. 
that is it off on her. It is good though because she can like carry bags and shit. I'm not. I'm not oh, even she's not gonna carry bags. No, she will. You'll be like, you're carrying these fucking bags. <laughs> <laughs> you do that to your little but, like. One. At this point, it's like you have to start like get your shoes on, carry bags. Like you gotta step your game up. Come on. Yeah. I gotta carry this child everywhere. Yeah. You gotta you gotta carry some weight. Yeah. You can carry one bag. He's like, yeah. I can't carry it. It's too heavy. No, it's not. Just carry the bag. Yeah, it's so the fights we have. It should be uh it should be interesting. So well, congratulations. That is very yes. exciting. I think we'll find we're gonna do the whole we're gonna find out what it what gender it is. Oh yeah, good move. Veteran yeah. move right there. Yeah, mm-hmm. even though my don't brother do the, don't do the mystery shit. My brother, who you all know, um of course. He's got his second coming nice in July. Oh, and wow. the last one they didn't want to know, and this one they don't want to. They're just waiting it. for it to I pop out. Is. I mean, I don't have any of my own. You know what you should do? You should have a, a tennis uh, baby reveal, gender reveal, where you hit the <laughs> tennis ball and it explodes into a color. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes that sounds like a good idea. We'll you do know, horse. We'll film that live. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Nothing can go wrong there. Yep, wow. No, not at all. So, yeah. That was very uplifting and good. Yes. Uh, Unlike so, the wrestling business. Yep. <laughs> oh, boy. Which is a goddamn some, disaster. Yikes. Dower yikes. news. This is a show of two two sections. The one section of complete shit and the other section of, meh, stuff's happening. Yeah. Like New Japan. Okay. But. Oh, thank God. Thank God for New <laughs> Japan. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, there's no uh, there's no allegations with New Japan guys. But it's and then Will so Ospreay. Nice, but so nice to have them back. Yeah. All right. Let's start in the shitty end of the pool. Let's start where uh, someone pooped in the in the shallow yeah. end of the pool, and we're all stuck in there. Uh, well, this is an industry built on shit. So that's yeah, true. It's, not, it's like not like there's shit in the pool. It's there's pool in the shit. It's just shit yeah, water. Well, it's just made. It's just shit. shitty water. Yes. The it's pool is made of water. shit. The pool is made of actual turns. Yes. 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 <laughs> the pool itself. Yep. Well, uh started with uh David Starr, who, you know, the, I think a lot of people are getting confused on this issue online. And uh, it's like, hey, David Starr was a good wrestler. Yeah, but he's a shitty human being. Let's like, we need to wipe away. Like he was a good wrestler and just move on to like, no, he's done. This is over. You know, let's move on. There's plenty of other good wrestlers, but all of that's out the window. All of this. Yeah. He's a great wrestler. No. It doesn't matter. Just like, doesn't matter. Benoit, this is just like Benoit. Yeah. I don't care if he's one of the greatest ever. Yeah. He's done in the book. He's done. So yeah. Right. So, uh, started with David Starr. a bunch of, uh, his ex-girlfriends came together and, uh, Basically told everybody how much of a piece of a shit he is. Yes. And uh, gave multiple examples <laughs> and proof left, right, and center. And uh, there is some comedy in here because so you can laugh at some of these shitheads. So he decided it would be a good idea to uh, put out a response, which was fucking awful. Yeah. And then he promoted the tweet. Yes. Which costs over $50. <laughs> to do promote his apology oh yeah on twitter as like oh i didn't understand entirely what you meant when you said that yeah so he spent over 50 dollars to send that out so lots more people would see that he was apologizing or whatever which is fucking tone deaf as hell what you see a promoted tweet is like oh wendy's yeah yeah so he did that (laughs) about his not being a sexual deviant, uh, which, yeah, he definitely is. And uh, he eventually did the thing like, the yeah, I'm guilty. Delete your Twitter. <laughs> yeah. There's all, it's always – Sorry, go ahead. It's always the best when someone's like, I'm not a sex pest, but <laughs> – Right after yeah. that, but it's just like, who cares? Because I also saw – You are. <laughs> something like – you know, I'm at peace. You know, I'm trying to be a better person, but I'm at peace with myself right now. Okay, good. Thanks. Thanks for forgiving me. For yeah. 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 Bad yeah. all around. So bad. Yeah. He said like, yeah, I'm not a sex pest, but uh, I'm a bad boyfriend or something like that. Yeah. Like, those are two very different things. Yep. 
Very different things. Very, very different things. Uh, so he uh, is donezo, basically. Career over. Yep. Which started a cascade of, in a positive way, of other people being yeah. like, you know what? Since uh, that worked, let's fucking clean this mess up and get clean. rid of all these fuckers. Clean and uh, there's many other names. Uh, some of them have still not, like, there was like one story and they haven't responded. So I guess, I don't know if we can talk about those guys or not. You know, this is all legal shit, but uh, Joey Ryan, the next one on the list has about, I swear to God, like 35 stories about how yeah. much of a creep he is. I, I honestly couldn't keep track of what was So what. many. Jesus. I mean, there's over a hundred wrestler, a whole hundred male wrestlers on this list of yeah. creepers, like f- from varying degrees from like, from like full on fucking like I'm going to jail rape like Jack Gallagher yeah. <laughs> to like uh, the Will Ospreay thing where he's just like a giant asshole bully. Yes. Like we've it all and everything in between. So Jesus. Joey Ryan, which everybody like kind of made fun of, like the most obvious sex offender <laughs> of all time. <laughs> yeah. He has so many stories. There were so many stories ca- that came out. And then he put up another, he, you know, these apologies are so fucking stupid. <laughs> Not like, you know, they're all like, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. They're, they, the people that said this are lying about this, but I went to counseling. So you should forgive me. <laughs> Every single one. So it's you're like, lying, but you went yeah. to counseling yeah. just in case. I went to counseling because, uh, and I'm good now, right? No, you're not. Right. So bar wrestling is folded. Joey Ryan's Twitter is deleted. He's done. He's going to be fired by Impact any minute. Um, yeah, they said they're not bringing him back. Yeah, so he's done. Oh yeah, completely wiped off the board. I saw NWA shut down. Yeah, yeah that's so a different that, story. That's David oh, okay. Lagana. Yeah. So, well, but David. Um, the David Lagana and NWA thing are two different. Right. They're two different things. The NWA uh, legends, I think is the, the one that. Oh no, no, no. NWA has oh. like stopped. They're not going to be doing any right. more wrestling for the rest of the year. So like shuttered operations for the rest of the year. So what happened is David Lagana, who was the head of NWA under Billy Corey, he's like his, number one man yeah he's like executive producer and to give him some of the credit he's the one who came up with the you know the show that was awesome and the little like carny land and all these cool things he has a lot he had a lot of good ideas and And like basically he was very big in impact too and like i think yeah he was a wwe writer Mm -hmm. but there was a reason why he was fired in impact i didn't know this um so this somebody came out and said this story about how he I can't remember exactly what he did now because there's so many stories, but he did something super fucked up to somebody. And um NWA, unlike a lot of the others, was like immediately like Dave Lagan was fired. He's out of here. He was he, he agreed to step down. Yes. We're, we're gonna take that resignation. But because of that, because he was head of all video and all this shit, they can't do this work like they can't make these shows now so they need to hire a whole staff to replace this dude to pull off what they've done in the past so the the company is so fucked now because of this guy yeah as of right now i see they're not going to be as of right now they're not going to be doing anything until 2021 and like all all wrestlers are now like able to not i don't Work Sign other places. Yes. Yeah. It Work sucks. It really sucks because they were one of my highlights. Yeah. Every Tuesday, I enjoyed the hell out of that show. Yes. And, you know, this guy's a fucking dickhead, but he deserves credit for putting that together. And now they're in deep shit because, right. because of this. So he's an mm-hmm. asshole. He's, he's out of there. Um, yeah, I believe he was fired from Impact for the same thing. For let go. a different thing or the same I, story? I don't know if it's the same story, but for s- allegations. Not, allegations. All right. Let's move on to Jack Gallagher, who has probably the most serious allegations out there. And I think this dude's going to jail straight up. Because he, like, all the stories are, like, legitimate. Like, this dude, not, like, creeped, not sexual abuse, like, full-on rape. 
<laughs> like his stories are so bad for multiple women. It's like this this dude's and this dude's going to jail. Oh, there's multiple <laughs> women for him too. Yeah, pretty sure. So uh, WWE quickly released him. Just he's out of here. Like no statement, right? They just released him. He's released. Yeah. Yeah. We're not even fucking around. He's out. So. Yeah, some of the, like Joey Ryan probably gonna go to jail. Maybe I'm thinking if you know somebody wants to pursue this shit, and D- Jack Gallagher is definitely going to jail because I heard on uh, Alvarez and Meltzer they were saying like WWE would not immediately release this dude unless they had concrete evidence, right? That um, <clears throat> that this shit was like definitely real, and this guy is definitely not worth your time so that's why i, they, I they feel cut like it. i read that wwe has like like someone who working for them who was like fbi something some mm-hmm. sort of that like tracks down this stuff for them and verifies it yeah like any allegations like like they have someone who goes through the smart like, smart like move. checks this stuff out smart uh, let's move down the list. We talked about David Lagana. Jimmy ha- Jimmy Havoc has some really bad stories out yeah. there. Now, yeah. this um, this whole thing we've kind of known about his fucked up like mental health because because yeah. of the Excalibur fight from like right. six months ago that was super super weird made no sense. Um, but you could just call that. The guy being what, drunk. He could, asshole. but yeah, obviously a sub- substance abuse things, and there's some there's some rape shit in there from him, all kinds of shit, uh, bad stuff. And now, uh, he was he went to rehab, which uh, Meltzer explained this because I was a little pissed off by AEW's uh, response to all this because it's like they put out this. First of all, they said nothing. Then they put this response instead of saying like we're gonna take it under we're gonna look at all this shit and figure out what we're gonna do they said nothing then they put out a statement that jimmy havoc's going to rehab yeah like we wish him well but we're gonna reevaluate him later and apparently according to Meltzer, that there's a law in florida that um if you go to rehab you can't be fired immediately you have to go through your treatment before you can be fired so supposedly that's why this this thing was put out and he's going to go to rehab and probably get fired immediately after he's done. I, I did see, it. though, I thought it was weird that they would, you know, I get that they're trying to just kind of not say anything, but it was yeah. almost supportive of him. Like It was. He, it was like, hope he gets the help like, he needs yeah. or something like that. It's right. It's got to be legal. According to Meltzer, it's something legal. Um, so he's probably out of the wrestling business as well. Maybe even a good chance. potentially going to jail as well. Uh, El Ligero, lesser but still not good. Uh, creepy trainer giant allegations asshole. and pr- giant tons giant of asshole. proof on him. Like the amount of text, text threads that people are sharing of like, look how much, like, you don't believe this? Look at how much I creep this dude is. Yep. Uh, he's no, no word from WWE on him because he's technically an NXT UK yeah, trainer. That's true. Is he a trainer in NXT? That's what Meltzer said. He's yeah, an NXT UK trainer. That. Wow. Um, yeah. Yeah. So there was that. Uh, there's many others who are in a different category. So um, this happened today. Sammy Guevara suspended by AW right. without pay for comments he made three years ago about Sasha Banks, which he used the word rape in there. Yes. Um, I it's similar that to part of it, but. similar to like a uh, what's his name there the director. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn James Gunn right. similar to like James Gunn made rape jokes got fired from Guardians of the yeah. Galaxy but they were years ago and right. he had apologized before he even got called out on them he, he was like right. that that stuff is garbage I should never have said that so uh, Sammy suspended he put out a thing like yeah I shouldn't have said that stuff I was trying to be funny it wasn't funny I was obviously immature he talked sure, to yeah, he's gonna, Sasha. Yeah, he called her and apologized, and you know, Sasha put out a statement too. Yeah, so I think he'll be back. He's so just gonna for sure. They made the right move with him. Yeah, yeah, you know, get him off TV, suspend him. 
yeah. you know, sent him to counseling. The, sen- the sensitivity training. He was probably like fucking twenty when he put that shit out too, which yeah. is not an excuse, but you know, not not great. But still, yeah. young people should not be on social media. The thing <laughs> is, is that you know. Or just people should not be yeah. on social media. Probably. But, yeah. but you just yeah, I mean, you do a lot of stupid shit when you're Absolutely. a young person. So Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the thing is is that type of attitude can't be tolerated. No, no, and I think that type of even thought process. Right. Which is good. You know? It's good that and they I'm did that. sure it is very, very prevalent in oh, the yeah. It seems like this is a systemic, you know, we have yeah. systemic racism. Is, we have systemic like and it's, sexual it's, abuse it's, in it's, this, it's similar because people are like oh well you know this is something we can change you can't change it i don't know if you can i'm sorry i don't know if you can change it if it was built on it like yeah. the u.s was built on racism right <laughs> so how do you change that the wrestling business is built on shitty assholes. taking advantage of people Taking yeah. advantage of people and exerting their power. I mean, so that's how what do you the term that? mark means. Even if you want to yeah. take it to the most base, right. mark is someone that you're trying to take advantage of. Yeah. And there's right. definitely from, we'll talk more about some of the other people that are named, but there's definitely a problem with, especially the UK. Yes. Where people are trained at like 12. Yeah. And these yeah. trainers like Ligero are taking advantage of these girls who have no idea. Uh, what they should or should not be doing and they're crazy young and they're just being taken advantage of by these trainers and they just get new girls in every year and take advantage of those new girls too and yeah uh, jordan grace put out a thing um yeah yeah. because she trained super young in america for some reason 15 and 16 right and she said that she had a relationship with a consensual relationship with a dude who was 30 when she was 15 with a dude trainer who was 30 and she was like, she didn't understand like why it was weird until later. Like, oh yeah, that was super fucked up. You should not have been doing that. Like, and also yeah. the guy was like a crazy asshole. He was an FCW uh, developmental talent at one point. He was an FCW and it was, was a name I didn't recognize. But yeah, fired, yeah, I didn't recognize him either. Fired for getting into a fight with Titus O'Neil, I believe. Mm. But the thing is, people say, well, we shouldn't be letting people at 15 and so get people at 15 and 16 out of yeah. there. But then it's kind, of, it's kind of the same thing when you say, well, she shouldn't have been dressed, dressed that way. Yeah, like, right. It's a 15 and 60 year old. I Keep saw Voices of Wrestling and uh, Dan Barry arguing about this on, yeah. online. It's like, yeah, no one should be doing that shit. Doesn't like, matter what their age. It doesn't is. matter their age. Yeah. Doesn't oh, matter what she's wearing. Doesn't matter what she yeah. looks like. Right. Yeah. You know, right. Keep it in your pants. Yeah. Come on. You know. You shouldn't be hooking up with your fifteen-year-old students. Like, yes. come on. Yes. Um, and that's. I mean, obviously, it's different in wrestling because it is physical in nature. But right. If a sixteen-year-old can get a job at a store, they can get. You know, they have yeah. managers there too. Yeah. Right. Sure. Somehow, yeah, that doesn't happen yeah, there. Advantage yeah. there. <laughs> It's the whole thing's fucked up. All right, so let's go over some of these other names who have actual things out there. Let's talk about the Will Ospreay thing because it's totally. I feel bad a little bit because he's a well. First of all, he's a giant fucking dickhead. We've known this forever. Yeah. <laughs> it's not new, yeah. um, but he's being named in this shit as like in the abuser line. He's in there, but he is his shit is more uh, blackballing and being a dickhead to. Uh, these other women wrestlers that yes the one i forget her name now pollyanna pollyanna said like her and b Priestley don't get along so will osprey try so to debook her everywhere what happened was she alleged that one of will osprey's very good friends had raped her and then right because of that they had her like n- debooked unbooked from shows in the uk like yeah. uh, so it is BBC worse than yeah. it's bad but he didn't do the uh he covered but, yeah. up the abuse he didn't do the right. abuse exactly. i don't know what's what's worse what's better i don't know it's yeah. all bad it's, it's all, all bad. bad yeah um but yeah so uh he also put out a shitty apology oh such a shitty apology. oh i didn't so see bad. yeah it's awful I can only imagine. absolutely awful He's not good at 
Because he had this thing happen a long time ago where he, three years ago, he said something about rape and how, I forget what he said. He said something, defending a rapist and then, uh, or abuser or something. And then later on, he's like, I was actually abused as a kid. It's like, well, why would you fucking say that then? Will? like, what are you doing? No one ever said Will was smart. He said it himself. He's a fucking idiot. So yeah, you are a fucking idiot. Will. we'll see what happens with his career. I don't know. I imagine sure, he'll still I'm be sure around. Be fine. Yeah. But all right. So the, some of the other ones that are named with some proof and uh, yet to be released, but we got, um, they're in different categories, I guess. Let's start with Devlin. Jordan Devlin supposedly right. beat his girlfriend. Yes. She sent out pictures of the bruises and shit. Yep. Um, he's under investigation by WWE mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. He was fired by every UK promotion that mm-hmm. exists still. They all yes. said, like, we're never going to book this guy again. Yes. Um, so I imagine he's in jeopardy of not being... Yep in WWE anymore as soon as they figure this shit out. But I so, doubt if all of NXT UK is in jeopardy, I'm just like almost shut. everyone um, is named almost everyone on the roster is named. That's male. Like mm-hmm. so many of them. I think the only guy was, was uh, Peter Pete Dunn. Dunn. Pete Dunn. There was some and stuff Trent about, seven. Trent seven was not named. Uh, uh, was he? There was a story. I saw Tyler. There was a story. But then I heard it was, you know, it wasn't true, but mm. I don't, he denied it completely. Um, Tyler Bate, yeah. I, it's just. I've heard some weird stuff about Tyler Bate in the past. Right. Um, yeah, but Pete Dunn, apparently not named, not many others. <laughs> A lot yeah, of others. That Devlin did what you're supposed to do, Jordan Devlin, and like deny everything yeah. outright. He just yeah, denied but- shit. We'll see. He didn't yeah. apologize for anything. He just denied shit, I believe. Uh, Travis Banks, that's the case. Got himself into crazy hot water yeah. <laughs> because he denied that he was abusive to Millie McKenzie. Yes. I think Millie McKenzie is in NXT UK. No, she's is not. She? No, oh, she's, she's not. not. She was She was a trainer, trainee under him. Yes. And, and this is another uh, thing where they – now, in the UK – it is 16 is a uh, legal age of consent. Right. And that's when I believe they started day when she was 16, but he, from the text message, he's just a giant asshole psycho. Yeah. Which, so she I, like, yeah. he denied that he did anything wrong basically, but and then he did she, the whole, like, I apologize. And then she put that, that thread of messages out where yeah. he was like banging on her hotel room door. Yeah. And like being a fucking weirdo. Yeah. Yep. And it's like, yeah, he's done. Yep. <laughs> Most likely. Everybody else has cut ties with him except for WWE at this point. Yep. So so that's not good for him either. Uh in a separate category, Matt Riddle was yeah. accused of basically rape. Um yep. uh in a car during an evolve show. Yes. Um he then retorted with like this woman stalking me yes. for the last three years. I've tried to get a restraining order on her. And then uh, the funny part, his lawyer's response. Yes. Did you see that? Or his lawyer put, put a response out on sticky notes. Yeah. Uh, he didn't have real paper left in his printer. So he printed all the statements out on sticky paper. Oh God. What a, a levity in a in a shit pool, but uh, according to Meltzer, WWE already knew about all this shit. Yeah, They've known for, since the moment he, they signed him, he said, "This is a thing. This man, this woman have this problem. She's gonna say these things." You know, he's married. He was married at the time. And so, like, I don't know. It's the real uh, thing's crazy. There's other messages on there of. Like mm-hmm. other women on there, are like yeah, this is a thing, and like yeah. other people saying like they were a th- they were an item. Yeah, and everyone but and his corroborating, wife knew. Yeah. yeah, corroborating yes. that they at least were some kind of item. they were involved with each other somehow. Yes, and this um, I would think though, like you said, they got the guy that looks into it. He was on TV what the next day, that day, that day. That so you would think 
they're yeah. not hopefully they really don't think it's an issue but it's, not, that. it's very that one's the most complicated one probably um of like what is going on here because the story is very bad it's awful yeah, yeah. it's a terrible he's a, story yeah he's another one who just it's probably just a giant asshole yeah um yeah is he an asshole or is he a fucking criminal i guess we'll find out yeah uh there's other people on the list that haven't they either have one story or a rumor about them um oh we talked about uh joe coffee wolf gang who else who else am i missing um dave christ dave christ from impact that's a big um, one there's several people in impact who have serious issues who else besides dave and joey um Oh, Michael Elgin, who we already know Michael about. Michael Elgin. Which is insane because they fucking hired that dude after he got. Yeah, they, about <laughs> they knew about it. They still At, hired him. Um, MLW's. Mark Haggins. Haggerty. Haggerty. Mark Haggerty. Yeah, they're, he got fired. Their announcer because he's um, preying on younger gentlemen, which then leads to Velveteen, Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream. Yeah, we talked about Love and Dream Dream a few weeks ago, and now it looks like there's more stories about him. Yeah. Which I didn't even know what grooming was until I read this story. <laughs> what a fucking mess. Yeah. Uh, so he's in trouble, potentially. And he was, last Wednesday, he was, I don't know it was pre-taped, but he was heavily used. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, there's others, too. I mean, there's a few other big names out there that have accusations against them that aren't like as strong as these other ones, but um, there's some other ones out there. There's some more big dominoes that might fall. Oh, Jake Hager was named. I forgot yes. to talk about him. Hager. Jake Hager and um, it's another AEW person, right? Oh, Justin Roberts. Oh, now, yeah. Ring announcer, yeah, Roberts. Justin Roberts for uh, creeping on young people online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, or at least one young person. They showed the uh, – the tweets or whatever, mm -hmm. the direct mm -hmm. messages. So that's out there as well. And AW has not responded on either one of those cases. Right. Yeah. So um, Impact has said, you know, we're looking into this stuff. WWE has said, we're looking into this stuff. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> their, weird, their own weird way. AW has only commented on two people. Yeah. Not all four, so yeah. It's yeah. uh yeah. The thing is, is that there has to be wholesale change in the wrestling wrestling I would say industry. The, this story is horrible because all these all reading all the stories is like Jesus Christ, this yeah, it is so awful. But the, and the, like yeah, um. I think the good thing is that this is all out there and these people, 98% yeah. of them are like, I'm sure they've been attacked. I'm sure all of them have been attacked, but oh, most yeah. of them have been majority like, yeah, we believe you. Yeah, yeah. this is right. This person's out of here. Like, mm -hmm. which is good. Yeah. There's still shitheads out there doing the wrong thing, but most of them, you know, were like, okay, yeah, this shit is true. These people are out of here, which is good. You know, we're not going to see these. I assume we're never going to see Joey Ryan, David Starr, Jack Gallagher, some of these people ever again. Probably. I would assume. I, I wouldn't. I can't imagine who would book them other than like a WWE. Oh, there's the whole Jim Cornette thing. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. The Jim Cornette cuck thing. <laughs> what? His wife. Hey, I, you know what? If he has, he could do whatever he want. You know, if sure. he's into that type of thing, cool. Right. But right. if he's like, You've got to fuck my wife to have a job. Have a job. That's an issue. And that seems like where some of this was headed. There yes. were some recruits in there talking to, or past OBW. recruits saying that, like, yeah, this is part of the deal. Like, yes. ugh. nasty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sure there's others that are that are uh, out there. There's other industries too. Like this started and then spawned it into like even like video games and some other places started doing this too which is good the thing um, is in any male dominated industry yeah, especially you know, industries. you know this shit is happening <laughs> so but ones like All shit where it's like unfortunately male dominated entertainment and like 
what I don't know what the word like almost intimate where like people it is. Yeah. it's it's not like uh even though I know it happens in offices and stuff like that, but the like it's it's like more intimate and more loose, so maybe it's more prevalent and even the the men there are there's it's a different type of person than a guy in a office like yeah. they're much more probably immature much more angry much more much more filled with rage outgoing too though outgoing willing to act on yes things. yeah right yeah bad news but hopefully good change will come and uh yeah so many of these uh Meltzer made the good point like uh, probably 100% of female wrestlers and maybe even female in general, like all women have dealt this, with this shit. Like almost everybody has a story. So, um, so it's good that that shit's getting out there. So uh, I'm sure there's many others that we forgot to forgot to name here, but you know, we'll see. I'm sure more news is going to come out. This is not going to stop right here. There's so many people that have to be released or dealt with or whatever going Think- forward. When the the independent scene starts back up someday, it mm-hmm. has to be a completely new scene. Like everything has to change. Like yeah. a lot of people are suggesting more female trainers, more uh, mm-hmm. female promoters. Yeah, all this uh, you know? progress is such a fucking giant mess because of all this, because 98% of these stories came out of progress. Um, They basically fired their entire group Mm -hmm. because Jim Smallman is not there anymore. No, he's everybody else is gone. And actually Mark Haskins wife is running it now. Mm -hmm. Supposedly Mark Haskins wife is in charge of progress now. Good. Which is good. So hopefully that'll, That'll have a good change, but we'll see. All right, let's talk about all the other stuff. Uh, Hopefully all those women are good on them for saying this shit. And, uh, you know, somebody should put together a a definitive list of their matches because I actually want to go out and watch. Like, let's just go watch all their matches instead. You Mm -hmm. know, all these people. Uh, Let's talk about uh, more fun stuff. Uh, Undertaker's retired? What? (laughs) Super fun. Did he not retire like four years ago? This is, I'm done. What the hell is this shit? Is this he and announced on his little series? Yeah, 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 his fake last dance thing. I need need to watch that. I've heard it's very good. I was considering having us watch it. No. Yeah. No, I heard it's good. I heard it's good. It's similar to The Last Dance, but about Undertaker. The Last Ride. Um, yeah, supposedly the Boneyards like maybe his last match, but I have no doubt he's coming if, back. <laughs> if the price is right, it's because there's been like rumors, you know, talk that he has had like money issues. So I would have died if Vince. Did you see <laughs> Kayfabe News put like what was it the the Mortician debuts on Impact yes, this Wednesday? Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Mortician. That was a picture of Undertaker's hat. I oh have no God. doubt he will be in the WWE ring. Yeah, within the next year. Oh, but he said he's, he's not interested. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's, gonna kinda, die, he's just gonna die in the ring. It's gonna I keep kinda going. I kind of would like and... to see him fight Terry Funk at this point. Oh my God! The only wheelchair thing... match between him and Terry Funk. The they just only thing run into each other over and over again. The only thing he should have, <laughs> if anything, ball. is just a uh, – if it's only Sting, that's it. Yeah. The only said, there's no Sting way that match is going to be any good, say, and Sting can't would, wrestle. Yeah, he said that's the only thing he regrets, that. though. I wouldn't, but people would pay money to see it. People would. I mean, they would. Shit. I would have paid money to see it hey, like 20 years ago. Never say never, Michael Keaton's Batman again, so – Wait, that what? I don't, that yes. I don't mind. Yes. I, I did see something what? like that. Yeah, Michael him. Keaton's going to play Batman in the Flash movie. Because. What? Because I'm guessing he goes forward in time. No, no, no. What happens is uh, this was a major plot in uh, DC Comics a few years back. Uh, it was called Flashpoint. Barry oh, went back goes. in time to save his mother. Mm. But when he went back, he fucked everything up. Yep. And created a new universe, and the universe he 
he is the that Batman universe. Shitty Batman universe. Hey, in hey. DC. In that's DC, a good Batman universe. In Michael the DC, Keaton one. Yeah. That's all the same, one. though, isn't it? Those other two ones are part of it. I don't really count that because they changed director. Well, okay. The, th- the thing is, is that. <laughs> um. The thing is, is that DC has been kind of laying groundwork for the multiverse because in the Flash, the TV show, the Flash right. from the DC yeah, movie yeah, yeah. showed he, up. Yeah. So they're kind of laying the groundwork for the multiverse. Yeah. So there's multiple. Of course there. Of course there. Now, in this Michael Keaton movie, does that mean that the Golden Bear, Jack Nicholson, is going to reprise his role as a Joker? We could only The hope. Golden Bear, uh, Jack Nicholson. We could only hope. And supposedly he may sign out up for a Batgirl movie to mentor Batgirl. That'll be fun. Yeah. We need a Batgirl movie for sure. Yeah, for Come sure. Uh, she's got an awesome story. Uh, there's there's a couple Batgirls. Like, well, she's like the, the hacker who's Jim Gordon's daughter. Like yeah, That's a pretty I'm, sweet story. I'm sure it'll be that one. Yeah. What's the, what was the terrible one from the old Batman movies? When she just kind of Alicia Silverstone. Him. Alicia <laughs> Silverstone. Uh, what was she? She was Alfred, Alfred's yeah, she, like niece. That's right. She was Alfred's uh, niece. Or something. She wasn't a Barbara Gordon. <laughs> she had to cure him from that weird disease that was killing him. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like, the, sa- the same disease that uh, uh, Mr. Freeze's wife had? Right. Oh, is that what it was? Because <laughs> oh, he, t- he tells he gives them two little bottles. He says, "Take two of these and call me in the morning." <laughs> God, that movie's terrible. So funny. Uh, what was her name in that? She was. She was Barbara. What was it? Hockey yeah. from Hell? Or Barbara something? Wilson. <laughs> Barbara Wilson. All right, let's talk about New Japan. Uh, New Japan so Cup, well underway. You said there's some upsets. Oh, do you guys want the upsets? Yeah, let's give it, give us uh, give us some stuff. Give one. us some stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um. Today, show beat uh, Shingo. Uh oh. I called that. Wow. Wow. Lee. Show beaten Shingo. Now, did Bushi win the whole tournament yet? No, not yet. Not yet. Not okay. yet. I got, Is I he out of the tournament yet? <laughs> nope. Tomorrow's his day. Right. Um, tai Chi beat Tanahashi. What? Yep. Yep. No, um, did not have that one. Yuji, Yuji Nagata beat Suzuki. Okay. I know wow. the name of Yuji Nagata. Who is he? What is his? Blue Justice. Older guy. Um, blue wears Justice, blue tights. Okay. Does this. Okay. Yeah, he puts the shirt over his head with the yes. eyes. <laughs> um, he was in WCW that. back in the day. Yes, yes. I do remember seeing. It's funny because we, oh. I was listening to uh, an old episode today in the car for some reason because I made that new open with the funny clips sure in it. That, and I, I, I very much enjoy that. Uh, yes, I don't know if it fits today, but I'll, I'll still put it in there. Uh, we need a little fun. But I was listening to an old ep- a bunch of old episodes to find funny clips and I was listening to episode 57 and it was about Yuji Nagata. There was a bunch of stuff because he was retiring from the G1. Right. That was yes. his G1 retirement match. But yeah. Legend. Yeah. Getting the win over Suzuki. My God. Um, what else? What else? Uh, who else? Um, Desperado. I thought Desperado was going to beat uh, Ishii. Ishii, but he didn't. But they had a killer match. So that's two, one to go watch. Two best matches right now are probably Sho, Shingo, Ishii, and Desperado. Uh, Desperado. Just two killer matches. I like how you so, forgot Desperado. Desperado. <laughs> Five minutes Japan, after you brought him up. They will go back to tag teams whenever they want. But is Rapunki 3000 or whatever, is that pretty much done now? No. They, no, it's no? still going. Oh, no. Is that... Who is that again? Is that showing, showing, showing you? Yeah. That is showing you. Okay. Showing, showing you. Um, well, Yo's going out in the first round. Just saying. Yeah. Oh, we better <laughs> hope so. Uh, it's Bushi. <laughs> oh, is he, is he taking on Bushi? He's taking yeah. on Bushi. You mean a Bushi or Bushi? Just, just wait, Bushi. Is there a wait, difference? Wait, yeah. are they the same person? <laughs> Is this They're like Naito and Unito when we first started watching? <laughs> Unito, yeah. Unito. The first time we saw New Japan. Unito. Tetsuya. That's not it. Unito. Tetsuya <laughs> Unito. Oh, uh, boy. So, so was it just four matches so far? No. Uh, uh, Toro Yano beat Jado in what Meltzer gave a negative one. Well, what? Ouch. Hmm. Uh, Okada beat Gato. 
Mm-hmm. Takahashi beat Hamna in a good match. Yeah. Oh, Honma. So wait, Hanma didn't, didn't go to the finals? No, not yet. Uh, hey, no, no, I had him in the the semifinals. Oh right, okay, a guy with a bag over his head in the in the semifinals. Yep, uh, against uh, Takahashi, the hottest guy in the entire promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Which, Ibushi. by the way, the gif of him dancing is the best. Oh, so I good. could watch that a thousand times. Abushi beat ZSJ. Oh, well, Sonata won. Oh, fuck me. Um, okay. Yeah. And then, of course, Ishimori won. Uh, Kanemaru won. Uh, and yeah. Okay. All right. So a couple it's, of big it's upsets. It's good, though. It's funny because I, I was wondering when we made these picks, like, is this going to be the upsets? And yes, it is. Dude, it's yes, so it many upsets. I, it's... Yep. It's just that's the best thing thing about the New Japan yeah. Cup. Normally, is the fun upsets. Well, I was reading about the Tana one where they got attacked for the titles, and then Abushi got beat up. Is there any chance Abushi's also going to lose so that they have to jump right into the tag team thing? Well, who's he's facing Tai Chi, so he could, could, no, tai Chi he could get Tana. Tana's yeah. out. Tana got beat by Tai Chi, right? Yeah, yeah yes. and then Tai Chi faces And Tai Chi's going to face Ibushi, oh, who won his match. So that's interesting. I'd even put that together. If Tai Chi beats both of them, does that mean that he gets a tag team title shot with his I, partner? I would have doubt it. The well, Dangerous just, Techers? Just, I would have doubt it. This is what's definitely going to lead into tag team match. So, shit, now I think, yeah, now I think Sanada. So Ibushi's going to get match. beat by Tai Chi now, we think? Who knows? Knows, but yeah, who did Abushi beat? Abushi he beat, beat ZSJ. He beat oh, ZSJ, okay. who is the partner of Tai Chi. Well, but Tai Chi had help in his match from that other dude, didn't he? Do- Do- Dookie. Dookie. Oh, yeah, uh, he's he back. Barely. Dookie. Know, he barely had it. <laughs> and Dookie's back. Is <laughs> Dookie? It's Doki, but we call him oh, Dookie all the time. Okay. As a Get joke, because it? it's like poop. Uh, yeah. Get it, Wally? Yeah. Uh, I get children. it. Children. I get it. Yes. You get it? I'm just going to say, I've got six correct and five incorrect right now. That's that's pretty good. Is it that's good? Really, that's that's pretty good <laughs> for me. That's pretty good. Did hey, we ever I, settle on how we're going to score this? Uh, we're going to do it by ranks, I think. The winner gets... Yeah, all right, right. Points down to the ranking. I have not yet started to... Well, don't do it till it's over, I guess. The first yeah. round's not even over yet. Yeah. All right. Uh, so New Japan Cup, good. It is so good to have Positive. it. Positive. It is. The thing is, is that it's great, and it's not that big of a difference when there's no crowd because the crowd is normally pretty quiet. Mm, right. Um, there is English commentary, by the way. But it comes afterwards. Uh, it comes so, a couple poof. days later. It comes a couple days to, later. I need, to, uh, I, I need to be up to date, man. I need to be ASAP. I don't have time. Well, if you want to. I, I enjoy the Kevin Kellys, so... Uh, I enjoy waiting. It's fine. Um, yeah, so that's all positive. I, I loved uh, Zack Sabre's first promo that he did where he's like, I've been living in Japan for three months waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't left the country. I don't know if that's real or not, but <laughs> it made me laugh. And the way they treat uh, Dookie is funny because Tai Chi and Sabre Jr. were like talking and then Dookie's injured the whole time and they're just like, oh, yeah. Come on with us. And he's like, oh, God. <laughs> he's obviously taking the pins for them. It's funny. Uh, Bill, time for a segment to be named later. Do we have anything to um, correct from last week? No, I'll just, just to keep it light, as we said, and to keep it moving, I'll just take us back real quick to, uh, to May of 2018, if I can. Mm, okay. And I quote, quote, Damn, bitch. Damn, bam. I wish you were still with us. I sure would love to hang out again. My brother, love you, miss you, HH. <clears throat> Got Ryan and Bam mixed up. Sorry, Bam. HH. <laughs> so good. Uh, yeah, he thought Bam Majara was dead. No. For, for like seven years. Wow. Wow. <laughs> he, was, that was, he was dead for like seven years at that point. <laughs> What's the other guy's name? The actual guy? Pr- Ryan. Chris. Chris, uh, Ryan. Ryan Dunn. Ryan Dunn. Dunn. Right, right. right. Why is Hulk Hogan a jackass fan? I don't know. Who is a jackass he, fan? He met he got a picture of him and Bam, so they met one. You don't up, like Wally. jackass Wally? <laughs> Wally, fuck off. Not really, no. Oh, oh my man. god. It's Come legit. On. There's some funny ass shit. It's jackass. legit one of the greatest shows ever. All right, let's talk about the Wednesday Night Wars. We can do this fast. Uh sure, NXT man. had some big tag matches. It wasn't a great show though. 
Uh, Sasha and Bailey came down and had their match. Was it there good? There was a terrible moment where Robert Stone threw up in the ring. It was gross. Oh, yeah, I was going to put that. Robert Stone barfed to allow Aaliyah to win, right? Yeah, yeah. that was yep. dumb. Who is now um, part of Robert Stone, Bren? I sure. Who the fuck is Robert Stone? It doesn't matter. Well, it really doesn't Don't worry matter. about it. It shouldn't register uh, in your Kyle- head. Figure out who Abushi and Abushi are song. first. Yes, Kyle Riley's a doctor or a therapist. What is that? that? I like that segment until the whole Kyle Riley doing that voice and it was kind of dumb, but I also am just yeah. glad to see Kyle Riley. Yes, yes, crazy with that beard. Can you tell me what Thatch's Thatch can is? <laughs> I like that. I like that. It's he apparently is training dudes now, but yeah. it's as like a vignette, so I don't know what is happening. It's dumb. I, I like it. Okay. I like that. What else happened? Anything else important? Um, that seemed like it. Imperium retain the titles. They yeah, set they up beat Brizongo. They're just combining the two titles into one. Like the the main event storyline coming out of the show was that uh, Adam Cole is going to take on the winner of Finn Balor versus um, Keith Lee mm-hmm. versus who's the other guy that's in there? Um, Finn. In, in Gargano. Finn, Gargano, yes. and, and Keith Lee. Are gonna, so they're going to have a match, and then they're going to have a belt versus belt match. Okay. This is the clear um, um, counter programming. Yes, counter programming to Fighter Fest. Oh, is that one it is? Yes. It's Fighter Fest. But hey, it's, uh, the it's other big match on the show was the tag team championship for the women Bailey and Sasha versus Keegan Knox and Shotzi. Yeah, and then Io Shirai came in and beat everyone up and said like, "This is my NXT," which is cool. Mm-hmm. Nice. But even though I hadn't seen her wrestle in I don't know, years, Bailey became my new favorite. Oh, favorite again! All over again. You got to break out your shirt out before she even stepped in the ring. And she looked at. I do. I don't have it on now, but I should have. They. She came out to the ring, and like, looked at all the fans in attendance, all the other wrestlers, and just went. You're welcome for your job. You're welcome for your job. You're welcome for your job. <laughs> nice. Oh, um, Santos Escobar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. He was What's back. the name of his thing? Something Legacy? Uh, I think it's like uh, Dookie. I think that's what <laughs> yes. it is. It's, it's Legacy of Phantasma, but in yes. Spanish. So okay. Whatever, however you say it in Spanish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, and Cameron Grimes Slice, Damien. Cam Grimes. Grimes. Sliced, oh yeah, sliced Damien Priest tires. Oh nice. Can he get rid of that bone oh, arrow beat, too? Damien, Damien Priest beat Priest beat Killian Dane. So I don't know what Dane's yes. doing these days. The Not answer. Much. Yeah, just collecting a paycheck. Uh, all right, that was NXT. AEW had a few things that were fun. Ricky Starks, number one, debuting and facing Cody in a good match, having a great promo too. Oh, or he like promo. called out Cody for like, I yeah, you think you're the only one that works hard, like that kind of thing. Um, and he's going to be a fucking star in AEW, hopefully. Oh, yeah. He should be. I mean, he got super over online, so um, you know that's a good thing. And he was if, great on NWA. If NWA is like closed for the rest of the year, and like these people are free to go, just pick them all. <laughs> pick AEW's got to pick up Thunder Rosa. Um, and Allison K. Yeah, for sure them too. Yeah. And for sure, like, uh, Dick get Dick all this fuck. Yeah. Give Dick him something Dice, to do. His name is Zicky Dice, Zicky. Well, Mike's guy. Mm. They did. If sign Mike that. was a wrestler, he would be Zicky Dice. That's how. Oh. I, that's what. I, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a good gimmick. Uh, they did sign that zombie girl, Abaddon. Yeah, I didn't put that in here, but Abaddon, they actually did an interesting thing with the women's division where they had this Anna J come out and have this weird gimmick and then Abaddon this demon thing this demon looking woman Ooh, yeah. came out and she's scary looking she yeah. destroyed Anna J who was like they made it seem like Anna J was going to be this big deal which yeah. is smart and then uh, Dark Order came and snatched her up like we're going to have mm-hmm. women in Dark Order too like let's pick yeah. her up so that was good so that made that was all interesting yeah, Dark Order uh, picked up Abaddon. Uh, no. no, Anna, Anna J. J. After she oh, lost, uh, Abaddon like, looks crazy though. Yeah, she is crazy looking. I don't know nice. if she's a good wrestler or not, but 
seems fine. He's, seems good. Seems fine, and it was a pretty interesting look. Uh, maybe the best thing of the night, and continuously always the best, Britt Baker passing yeah. notes through a oh, pulley system so funny. to Tony Schiavone during the broadcast. They, like, yes. zoomed out, and she's got this, like, <laughs> clothesline pulley, and yes. she's, like, paper clipping notes to it, passing them up <laughs> to Tony Schiavone during the show. So funny. Uh, and then Orange Cassidy tries hard. Yep. He sneak attacked Jericho. He did the old dressed up as a cameraman attack somebody bit, uh, which ah. we've never seen in wrestling before. Mm-hmm. But uh, he actually was pissed off and uh, went full force and was elbowing Jericho on the fa- in the head and all this stuff. And Tr- Chuck and Trent were like, whoa, what is this? So that was cool. He, uh, interrupt- he like beat him up after a match. Oh, okay, okay. So that was fun. So yeah. Orange is going to get super over because he's going to fight Jericho. And oh, yeah. uh, all that's going to be great. Yeah. And that's about yeah. it, I think, for yeah, AEW. It's probably a few it. other things, but uh, yeah, decent show. Very mm-hmm. high hopes for Ricky Starks. I'm excited oh, yeah. to see him. Great signing. Awesome signing. Like, perfect. Good. He's going to be great. Uh, all right, Mike, I assume you don't have a segment because you're going to do Jeopardy on the, on the nope. next show. So no, we'll just skip you. Wally. Let's do a 20 minute Booker Man. Yeah, yeah, 20 minute Booker Man. Let's not. Wally, uh, you have a very special segment this week. You're doing a yes. top 10 over the next two weeks. Buckle yep. up, everybody. A two parter. A two okay. parter. Buckle mm-hmm. up. Numbers 10 through 6 of Jim Carrey's best movies. 10 through 6, Jim Carrey's best movies. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Number 10, and it's only because I actually haven't seen it, but I'm sure if I had, it would be up higher, is what? The Cable Guy. What? The Cable uh, Guy's great. I haven't seen it, so I can't Number put 10, it any higher. Why are you like, ranking it, it if you spot. haven't seen it? Anyway, all right. It's good movie. Right spot is top good movie. Piece. Number 10. Yes. Number so, nine is Bruce Almighty. Yeah. <sighs> cable Guy's better than that. Cable Guy's better. I haven't seen it, so I can't. Almighty's all Number right. Number eight is his uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Oh, Terrible. oh, oh my no. God. Off the list. Kidding? That's a you hilarious movie. People Awful. your age love Awful. that shitty movie. That is a you know what's fucking movie. awesome, though? Has anyone seen the DreamWorks Grinch? Yeah, yeah. I it's think I so fucking good. It's really awesome. the one with Benedict Cumberbatch? Yes, it's so terrible. good. Yeah, it's so terrible. good about it. I love it. I thought it was great. I thought it was super fun. I feel like I tried watching it. Better than Jim Carrey's. Well, maybe it's just because I have children and they like it, but I enjoy it and I can watch it more than once. So, Well, number seven is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Oh, I, man. What I don't think I enjoyed that. It's been a long time. I don't think I enjoyed it. Should really? I thought I, you loved it because it was we watched it in the morning. I thought, yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't remember, though. Really? Oh, you know, so, The memory, about the memory wiping... I was thinking of Punch Drunk Love with Adam Sandler, which is yeah, you hate that. Sorry, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you like Eternal Sunshine. I might, yeah, yeah. It's and a good number movie. six is Ace Ventura: When Nature Calls. Is the that second the second one? one? That's, okay. that's the second one. Good, good, good. That's, that's the one, one uh, where he comes out of a rhinoceros's ass. Yes. Uh, I'll I'll wait. But I, I, I love <laughs> Ace Ventura. One is still like a fucking awesome movie. No, I mean, it should I, be number one on your list. Uh, it's. I will say it's up there. Number two is, is so many good lines. Mister Monopoly. <laughs> 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 yeah. Throws them over his shoulders. The parking. <laughs> the parking. Uh, it doesn't have I Dan Marino know. in it. Doesn't have Dan Marino in it. That is my favorite movie. Or my favorite line from either of the movies when Dan Marino asks him for a gun. Gum. It's none of your goddamn business, Dan. And I thank you for staying out of my personal affairs. Uh, well, that was fun. Yes, I, yes. All right. So look forward to. Oh, uh, I want to know the rest now. Come on. Just oh, give them to him. Too bad. He's got to tease it. He doesn't want to do work next week. He's probably not going to show up next week. Yeah, that's so. that's fair. I, I'm uh-huh. pretty sure I, I have work next week. So, uh, so maybe, all right, fine. Then if you know you have work, I'll do just, the rest. I'll just shit. Get, number five is liar, liar. No, uh, yeah. you know, it's, it's been, been a while. Better, but okay. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen that. Yeah. It's not bad. Um, the claw. Number four is the mask. <sighs> high for the mask. It's Very high. I Very did high. like it. It's been a while. Very high. Number three is dumb and dumber. Very good. It feels too low. 
Tails <laughs> off. Head fell yeah. off. <laughs> Our pets' heads are falling heads off. off. Our pets' heads are falling off. Uh, uh, number two is original Ace Ventura. Wow. Oh, okay. Of course, your favorite's Truman Show. Yes. Number oh. one is the Truman. I like Truman Show. I like it, it, but it's not better than those other two. No, it's it, not. It's a good movie. If I, had, if I had waited a week, number two and one probably would have switched. But yeah, Truman Show is a good movie. It's it just is not, a good movie, but the other two that you named are better. It's like Truman Show and Eternal Sunshine are like their own category. They shouldn't even yeah. be in like the comedy category. But Did yeah, you but the scary movie that he had there, the uh, number twenty three. Yeah, yes. I heard that was terrible. I didn't see it, but. It looked bad. Yeah. I didn't see it either. But, so that's top 10 Jim Carrey movies. There you go. A lot of argument there. Truman Show, number one. Wow. Yeah. I would say Dumb and Dumber or Ace Ventura are both better in that order. Leave your uh, comments in, in below for why. <laughs> Leave your comments below for why. All right. That's it. Next up, well, um, <laughs> Next up, Mike, not Wally. Mike is uh, putting us through another episode of Jeopardy, which I last time was a easier. fucking disaster. <laughs> so hopefully, or maybe we should have a disaster. I don't know. Maybe that'd be more fun. But we're going to do Jeopardy about wrestling again. Bill won last time. Dominate just like it did last time. Our returning champion of winner of $1. $1. So congratulations to you. I have not got uh, the internet money You yet. can use that to pay off uh, <laughs> Mike's uh, bet with you that uh, Mercedes Martinez is going to be the champion in 2017. Hey, so she had a promo enjoy that. this week. She had a promo on NXT this week. She's yeah. coming. There you go. So in two more years, you maybe can uh, recoup that bet. All right. That's it. This episode is over. We're doing Jeopardy next. See ya. Peace.